First Peter chapter 2, I'll read verses number 23, 24, 25. Maybe just 24, 25 alone. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that he, we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. For you were like sheep going astray, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Hebrews chapter 6, verse number 2, 1 and 2. One alone. Therefore, leaving the discussions of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God. Lord, I ask you bless the reading of your word with understanding with anointing with breakthrough with healing today in jesus name amen. can i have a lot of amen? amen you may have your seat in god's presence i want to speak on by his stripes the topic is by his stripes we're going back to basics as a church and in going back to basics we have to really consider the little things that um we used to know that we were taught years ago and that um, one way or the other we've come to forget or we no longer emphasize in church we were taught that uh, salvation is by grace through faith we were taught repentance from dead works we were taught that salvation for you to be loved by god you have to be saved by his grace what are the place of walking by faith for the just shall live by their faith we we're taught the place that without faith it's impossible to please the lord who are taught the way of holiness, the pathway that God wants us to walk in, who are taught also several things about how to please the Lord and what it means to be a Christian and be a believer, who are taught deeply from scriptures certain, certain things that can affect our walk with God, sin, who are taught by prophet Isaiah that it's not that my hand is short that it cannot touch you or that I'm not powerful anymore to raise you and help you but your sins have separated you from me who are taught the place of sin the place of works of the flesh the fruit of the spirit who are taught all these things but our faith was, was, was built on these foundations but lately we've ignored all those things because we just assume most Christians that were born again in the 80s know all this. So we forget that some people are born again in the 90s and some just got born again two, three, four years ago. We no longer teach them the place of discipleship. We've changed it to mentorship. We like the word mentoring than discipling. Discipling is ancient and it's old school. So Christians no longer run discipleship, discipleship programs. We run mentorship programs. Why? We're trying to mentor people to be like us, not to be like God. You disciple people to be like Jesus. You mentor people to be like you. Because with discipleship, the emphasis is on Christ. With mentorship, the emphasis is on Christians that are going well. Pastor P, I want you to mentor me to be like you. So the emphasis is on the person that's a Christian doing right and doing well. But with discipleship, really, we're taught to also carry our cross. The cross was part of our message. Because it's in the scriptures that you carry your cross daily, not weekly, not once in a while, daily. It's not a pleasant thing to carry. We are taught a place of service and sacrifice. That for you to be a Christian, you're saved to serve and serve to be preserved. We are taught a place of sacrifice, thought of giving. We are taught a place of tithing, the place of going to church to wash the toilets and wash the floor, and you still say to God be the glory. We are taught a place that many things we are taught, many. We knew that that's what it means to be a Christian. It wasn't a pleasant journey. It wasn't. You knew that from the very first day you became born again that you would be despised by friends. You will call you certain names called SU. It not, wasn't supposed to be in vogue. You had to count the cost. We were told, are you sure you want to carry this Bible? Yes. For they call them Swagba Union in Yoruba land. Those guys that we were told that to be a Christian was to carry the cross, to pay the price, to fast and pray, to spend time alone with God, to go to campgrounds and camp meetings in days without eating and drinking, just trying to study scriptures. We were told that once a year a good Christian should read his Bible from Genesis to Revelation, finish it. Those were the things that I consider very, very precious up till today. We are told that by his stripes we are healed. We are told the place of walking by faith and walking in faith. We are told that if you are not a, a Christian, you must live on a daily basis by faith. Believe God for your job. Believe God for your home. Believe God for your breakthroughs. Believe God for your health. Believe God we are to a point where we didn't want to go to hospitals anymore. 
Many things we were told. 